Hi, I am mixed media artist Christy Tomlinson, and this is Art Redefined, where there are no rules, just creative, messy play. Today, we're going to talk about UT and some really fun ways to use it that are outside of what you might think they're normally used for. So, thanks for joining me today, and we're going to have some fun. Okay, we are back, and I am excited to have on as guest um, Christine McKay. She is the person, the guru, whatever you want to call her, behind my craft channel, and she is an amazing crafter. She has been in the industry forever, so I'm excited to have her on because we're going to do some fun stuff. I am so excited because, you know, like I am such a fan of all of this, but it kind of scares me, and so I'm so excited to well, learn. and there's nothing to be scared about. Um, most of you guys are familiar with UT. Let me grab a bottle back here. Um, it's ultra thick embossing powder. Um, and most of you guys probably are familiar with this in scrapbooking or paper crafting. We use it for embossing on cards and things like that. And I'm going to show you a whole new way to use this product. It is so much fun. Um, these are just some samples of what we have created um, using it. And so we're just going to get right into starting off with the very first way. Um, UT is clear, by the way. It comes clear, and as you can see, it's a little bit brown, but that's just because it's a little um, warm. And you pour this straight into what we call a melting pot. Um, a just melt with Pam or anything first. No. <laughs> in fact, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> and do not put alcohol inks in here either. It causes fire. So just so <laughs> you know, down. this is a hot surface. Okay. You can bake in this. Um, if you do clay, you can also bake in this. This is great for so many things. Um, so you would just pour this in here, and then you let it um, melt completely. Do not... Don't try and stick anything in it and, um, you know, whatever you want to call it, swirl it around because it will bubble. So you just let it melt, just leave it alone, walk away. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is create these really cool embellishments. Um, these are just dipped in UT, and that seems really simple, but it just gives them a whole new depth and dimension than if you were just to use them normally. So we are going to start with that, and I am going to give you first this little flower. Okay. It's a lot of fun. Do you and trust me? I do trust you. <laughs> and all you do is you just take it and you drag it right through the UT. Okay. And that's it. And then you want to pull it off and put it onto this. It's a craft mat, and I forgot to mention that. These are really important. Um, it's heat resistant. Um, it's great for quite a few different things. So, And that's just it. And then when you're done with it, you have... Um, you know, th today, um, those cabochons are really, really, yeah. like, in. Well, this is a way to make your own cabochons. Oh, my gosh. It totally looks yep. like, it's, like it's an enamel little flower. Yep. And you can use any type of flowers. Another really fun one to use is um, tulle. And I'm, for this, I'm just going to dip it in with this. And you're going to see it's going to melt it a little bit, but it just puts this coat on the tulle. That is just really oh, cool. Oh my gosh, that is so cool, And look Christy. how fun that is. And then, of course, you're going to just drag it onto your mat and let it dry. Um, you can dip any type of any embellishment. Like here, um, these are finished embellish embellishments that um, a paper crafter makes that I just dipped into it. Um, you've got, this is chipboard that was covered with glitter that I dipped into it. This is actually a fabric flower that you made, like a yo-yo flower yeah. that was dipped into it. So there are a lot of really fun things to do. Um, do you want to try dipping another one? Yeah, let's do it. Which one do you want? I just can't believe how like how let's relatively simple that is. But you use this. Don't okay. touch that ever with your fingers. <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> so like about how long does it take to melt the, the, um, the powder? Probably about, um, I'd say about 10 minutes. And there's actually settings on your melting pot. Oh, yeah. See, is that that's good? Perfect. Yep. And then I just, just drag it on. And it will just eventually let go. That is the coolest Isn't thing. Isn't that so cool? And you know what I like about it is like I'm kind of an instant gratification kind of girl. And like there you, you go. just dip it and it's done. Instant There's not like a thousand steps. It is. And I didn't bring any today, but you can also create your own shapes um, with cookie cutters. So you would just place the cookie cutter on the mat and pour the UT into it. And I just backed it with paper. And um, basically what I did is just put paper on the sheet, the cookie cutter on top of it, and then poured it into it. And it just creates this really cool embellishment. So these are things you can do that you dip that's clear. Um, then you can take this dye, and you can actually use regular craft paint. I have used it before. It works just fine. But um, Ranger makes this dye that actually goes into the pot to change it a different color. So, so not the alcohol ink Not dye. alcohol ink. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, <laughs> that heat and that does not mix. So we just put a couple of squirts in that in here. And I want to make green. So is it blue and yellow that make green? Uh, I think it is. Sure. <laughs> so we're going to hope it does. <laughs> and then you just take a little spatula 
and you mix it around. And you're gonna hear it bubble just a little bit, which is totally natural. And if you use regular craft paint, you'll still get the same bubble. I will tell you that regular craft paint will bubble quite a bit okay. more. So um, don't be alarmed. Don't be like, oh my gosh, what did I, it will start foaming. So it's okay, so if, totally. there's, if there's some just bubbles in there. Just walk away and the foam will eventually okay. go away. So we've created this so really pretty. pretty color, yeah. And then you're gonna take it, and the next fun thing to do with it is wire dipping. So I've just taken regular wire, and it doesn't matter what kind, you can do rusted, Sprite Silver, Gold, whatever you want, and create um, shapes out of it. So I have like this flower, and oh, I'll let you, gosh. I'm gonna let you start with this flower, because that's okay. the easiest, okay? And then we've got hearts, and you can do birds, you can do butterflies. The one important thing to remember is that your pieces connect. You have to, okay. you can't have an open-ended piece or it won't work. And what you do is you just take it right into the UT. Kind of reminds me of like the Easter egg dipping yep. sticks. And you okay. just dip it in and you want to pull it straight out. Okay. I should have bended my wire yep. first. Yep. But that's okay. There we go. We're good. All right. And pull it straight out. And there you go. And see how cool that is? That oh, looks just like glass. Oh my gosh. That Isn't is that the coolest, coolest thing, thing ever? ever? What happens if you make a mistake? Can you like oh, repeat yeah. it? Or you put, put it back in, in there and it melts it right away. Okay. And you just start right over. Yep. I love it. And you just put it on the craft mat and you're good to go. So this is one thing that I've done. Um, this is just a Prima flower that I dipped in the clear UT and see how it just gave it this I, really I cool. I cannot believe like how it totally changes the foundation. Like look it looks it. like it's like either like a really thin porcelain or clay. Yep. It does not look like it's fabric. No, it's really cool. And then this was wire that we dipped. And of course on this one, the bigger you, you get, the harder it is to actually like get that big of a piece. So I was okay with the fact that it just, um, got certain sections of it. That was totally okay with me. So this was a finished canvas that I did using that technique. That was a lot of fun. And there's another one. Let me grab it up here. Um, this was another one. It's just a small little canvas, but it just, I took a piece that I did like this, and then I took this rose and added and some wire to like it. And that looks like it's glass. Doesn't Isn't that cool? I think it looks like blown yeah. glass. I love the look of it. So wire dipping is really fun. Um, do you want to try one more? Yeah. You try the big flower. And here's okay. a trick. Um, if it, if you can't get it to go, you can turn down the melting pot and it will start to thicken and it actually, oh, okay. it goops you know what, onto I, what it. What I love about this is that if you ruin it, you can like start over. Totally. Like it's totally good. And green, if there was another color you wanted to go to from green, you could totally add colors okay. and create different colors. Just pull it straight yep. up. And you know what? I'm totally okay with that. Totally. I love, I love it. It's about, awesome. like mixed media and about this art is that it doesn't have to be no perfect. No rules, no rules. Okay, so now we have this green mess and we're like, hey, what are we gonna do with it? And you wanna keep it green. Well, now we're gonna do something else fun with it, but we're gonna change the color of it. And that's really easy to do. So we're just gonna use, this is platinum, and you could get black or you can get um, copper, whatever color you want. And we're just gonna add it to the top. And this is going to give it more of like a metallic look. And I already have one that's already ready to go. So I'm gonna grab it. Let's pull it over here. And let's move some of this stuff out of the way. Okay. These fun little embellishments and that we made, they're dry. Oh they dry my gosh. so fast. And then, like, see here if you have a straggler, you just yeah. break these off and cut them off or whatever you want to do with scissors, and they're just good to This go. is very forgiving. Very forgiving. So, this is the platinum. And. It is a really pretty color, and I've got a little that bit of... That is beautiful. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. I've got a little bit of blue on there, but it's okay. It'll just melt right into there. But we are going to make now... Um, have you ever heard of soldering? Um, yes. Um, no, I, have I, you ever done it? Um, I am not... Yes, I've tried. I've got a story so about skills. you that... Um, yeah, yeah so I'm not a good solder. Most of us are not the best solderers. I don't solder very well. Well, the cool thing about this technique is it is faux soldering. So you're creating the look of solder without actually having to get the metal out and the hot tools. I mean, we're working with hot, but not just, not I like you are with soldering. I think this is my new, like, light bulb moment. Yeah. Like, I'm so excited. Well, and a lot of people do this and still make jewelry out of it. And I, I mean, I'm not necessarily a jewelry artist. I do love to make jewelry, but I like to make it for canvases. So, like, this is a little piece that I've created, and then I put it on this canvas. Um, another example is this canvas piece. I um, love that. It's just sections and then I've created different words inside of them and glued them on there. So it's a, for me, this is a really great finished canvas. It's just like I art love ready it. to go. Um, oh, I forgot to show you. I think I showed, show this really quick. This is one of the wire dipped pieces that we did. 
And I made just a little necklace oh, out of it. Oh my gosh. Stuck it on there. Isn't that it, fun? It, just, it really looks like blown glass. Really, really fun. So there is a lot of things you can do. So I'm gonna teach you how to do this, okay? okay. So let's move this stuff out of the way. First, what you need is glass tiles, or you can use plexiglass. Um, this piece here that I made is just plexiglass. My husband cut it for me. You can get it at the hardware store. You can buy it in sheets. You can cut it down. Pretty simple. But luckily, um, Ranger and Ink Essentials have created tiles, and you can get tiles on Etsy, whatever you want. Um, but they have them pre-cut for you. So what you want to do is you want to take two tiles, and you can pick any tiles you want out of here. Okay. okay. All right. And then let me grab, we'll just start simple. All right. Um, one of the things I really love to do, um, I obviously create artwork. I like to scan in my artwork, and then I save it on my computer because I do licensing and things like that. Well, I have taken my artwork, and I have scaled it down to fit the tiles. Love so it. So I can instantly cut it out and stick it in there. So do you want to pick... Yeah. Do you want to do a paper or do you want to do one of these? Of course, I want to do one of yours. Here is okay. paper. Cut out the one you want. Okay. And while you're doing that, okay. I'm going to show you how it needs to be okay. done. Okay, perfect. So let me grab. And how I do it is I just take the tile and hold it okay. right over the paper or whatever I'm doing. Okay. And I'm just going to cut it, the shape. And it's cool if you use paper that's double sided because then you don't have to cut oh, two yeah. pieces of paper. And I also like to always put words on my um, words or a picture or something on my tiles just because it gives it more meaning. And then you can even go in with a little bit of a pen and um, let's see if we can do this. Just kind of draw around the word just to give it maybe doodle on the page a little bit. You could add rub-ons in here. You could do whatever you want. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take two tiles place the paper in between and just make sure you got them nice and flush and it's not always going to be totally straight okay. and I'm okay with it. I was just saying it's, it's okay but yeah. it's not perfect. Make sure that this is good and mixed up before you start. Okay. And then this is seriously so easy. You just take it and you're going to dip it right into the UT just like that and pull it up. And I kind of like Bend it a little bit, and you can see the UT start to slide yes. down the side. Um, and then you're going to go in and do the other side. And you can dip it in as far or as little as you want. See how I only went a little yeah. ways? Yeah. So however you want to do it. And I'm waiting for you to, like, show me the hard part. Like, this is so easy. It is not easy. hard. And it dries pretty fast. I just be careful because it is hot. So dip all four sides. Okay. Oh, you got to get that side better. And then if you have these little bubbles that you ended up with, mm -hmm. you just take it along the side of your thing and just melt it off. So you'd hold it against there and melt it off. So do you want to try it? Christy, I am so okay. excited. Okay. Just dip it. Yep. Actually, I'm probably going to go down a little more. And pull it up. And just pull it up. And then just kind of tilt it so it starts to slide. Oh my gosh, that is the neatest thing. It's so much easier because, you know, I, I didn't realize that when you're soldering that you need something called flux. Yes, <laughs> you don't need so, flux with this. So I was very frustrated. It actually works. <laughs> this is so great. Yeah. And so really, Chrissy, you can, I, what I love is that you can use this for the jewelry. Let me show you a trick, too. Yeah. You can use it for anything. So say I, she didn't like this piece. This didn't work. You just take no it away. Off. Yeah. When it's finished, it's harder to do, but when you're in the stages, so if you get a piece you don't like, so sorry, guess what? You have to start over. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I can't wait to finish this. I'm totally going to wear this okay. and keep in this. Well, so you can make just about anything with it. This is another one that I finished that I love. I just took a canvas. Um, I added some, um, this is just ripped off a of cardboard and then stuck this on top. You could also wear this as jewelry. Like I said, there, the possibilities with this are endless. Um, this was fun because it's just a large, I was thinking it would be fun to hang from a window or from a Christmas tree. You can make ornaments out of it. Um, there's just so much you can do with this stuff. This is probably my favorite technique are the little tiles. I think that you can have so much fun with this stuff. So anyways, thank you so much. You this, is, this is actually something I can do. Well, I hope you will continue to do it and thank you for joining me. Um, this has been Christy with Art Redefined and we'll see you next time.